We can always rebuild. You know, lives, you can't bring lives back. Kauai residents are thankful to be alive as help pours in following last weekend's destructive flooding. We're working for Hawaii. This is the KJON2 News at 6 with Joe Moore. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Tuesday, the 17th of April. Recovery efforts continued today for folks on Kauai as they clean up from last weekend's historic rainfall. Dozens remain without electricity, food, and water, and a portion of Kuhio Highway remains closed. Residents in Wainiha and Haena remain cut off from the rest of the island. Bridget Namata flew in there today to see the destruction firsthand. She joins us with the latest. In order to get to Wainiha and Ta'ena, we took a Black Hawk helicopter, helicopter in and a Black Hawk helicopter out. And in those few hours that we were there, we were stunned at how much damage the two towns sustained. Although, when it comes to the residents, we were met with nothing but grateful smiles for the donations pouring in, even though they told me they're not sure when things will start to get better. The people of Wainiha and Haena have been stranded for days. With landslides blocking access into the towns, emergency crews, military, and private citizens are taking to the seas and the sky to bring much needed relief with Kauai's signature touch of aloha. Food and supplies were airlifted from Princeville to those in need in Wainiha and Haena. Kaimi Kaneholani and Hanole Hemasura brought us along as they delivered supplies to strangers, friends, and family. How are you guys doing? You guys doing? A welcome sight for Wainiha resident Kehau Maumea. Oh, I give case of Vienna Associate. I thank you very much for me and my family, the people of Wainiha, for all the help. While the stranded are grateful for the support, there are a lot of unknowns, like when will things return to normal? Homes look like lakes instead of yards. Roads ripped apart. We're at Ke'e Beach where the start of the Kalalau Trail is and it seems like I'm hiking, but really this is just the remnants of a road before floodwaters tore it apart. It's worse than Hurricane Nikki. I can't believe it. It's like, I don't know how to describe it because this is, this is worse than anything I've seen in all the years that have, I lived on this side of the island. I was born and raised here, so this is the first time I ever see the roads really, it's gone. Devastated, you know? Some of the families are stuck on that side still yet that want to come home that we told them not to because what's the sense of coming home when there's no road? Despite the unknowns, the stranded are still smiling. They tell me they're grateful for the aloha pouring in from donations. Some may not have running water or electricity, but they say they have each other, and that's what matters. I was separated from my mom and my dad. They had to take a boat. They were really fortunate. But they ended up getting a boat over here, but it was really hard because it was just me, my grandma, and brother, and, you know, Luckily, we were safe, but a lot of our friends' houses were, they lost everything, so we're really fortunate. The Department of Transportation says it flew over workers from Oahu and Maui to help clear out Kuhio Highway. There are multiple landslides that are preventing folks from driving into Wainiha and Haena. And again, no definitive timeline on when Kuhio Highway will reopen. Reporting live from Kauai, I'm Bridget Amata, sending it back to you, Joe.